Hey, welcome back everybody uh, to uh, our Revit training. Okay, so um, we're not doing too bad here. Uh, sort of mapped out roughly where we need to be with everything. Um, we're sort of in a position to start doing walls, but before we do that I want to modify um, some of the, the system walls um, so they're a bit more accurate as to what we would physically construct as opposed to you know what would appear on drafting space okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in WA for wall or I could go to architecture and I could go wall architectural either way is fine okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to scroll down to um, this is our wall list. So these are the, these are all the available walls within this particular project at the moment. Okay, and um, yeah, there's a couple of walls that I want to sort of muck around with. So number one is I'll, I'll I want to add a layer of um, I want to muck around with the brick veneer a little bit, and I'll muck around with the stud timber 90. Okay, because these are two common so walls used in Australia. Okay. Now let's go have a look at the brick veneer 240 timber. Okay, so left click on that one, and now I'm going to go edit type. Okay, so this is where we start basically mucking around with um, how families behave. So these are type parameters in this screen here, which means. Um, Anything um, we change here will apply to the entire family. That's a universal change. Okay. So what we want to do is we go into the structure tab here. Okay. And this is going to show us how the wall is constructed. So I just clicked on that edit button. Okay. And what we have here is we have a finish level or a finish layer on the outside okay so that is masonry um, 110 so that's correct uh, we've got a thermal or an air layer here okay 40 mil that is correct okay we've got a core boundary either side of the structure okay because the timber frame is the one that does all the work so that's what we want to be lined up as the core okay and 90 millimeters that is correct now reality is that um, brick veneer walls we would actually have a layer of plasterboard on the inside as well okay typically 10 millimeters so what we're going to do is we're going to insert a new layer there okay so I'm just going to go down here so in these four, four buttons here and what I can do is I can go insert so I'm just going to left click there okay and what's happened is it's popped up to number one on the outside we don't want that we want to move it down to the bottom so that's on the interior so we just use this down arrow click just click that a few times until it is sitting on the interior okay so exterior interior okay so it's in the right place with regards to the um, um, yeah where it should sit in the wall okay so we've got our structure here so this is the function of the material so this is not a structure okay this material is just a finish so you can use finish one or finish two I'll just use finish one for now okay actually no I'll use finish two because it is that will differentiate it from this one here okay so finish two material at the moment I don't have a category of uh, material applied to it so what we do here, so I'm going to click on here and we get this little square in here. Okay, and if I left click on that, it's going to take us to our materials library. So left click. Okay, and this is our materials browser. Okay, so in here, by default, there is a product called gypsum board. So if I type in the top here, okay, and I just type, start typing gyp. See GYP straight away gypsum wall board. That is exactly what I want. Okay, so I'm just going to left click on that. I'm not going to change any of these parameters at this stage. We're going to look at the material browser in a lot more depth one day. And now I'm just going to go OK. Okay, so we've got our finish. It is now gypsum wall board. 
and we just need to now apply a thickness to it so to a typical warboard is um, 10 millimeters okay just for plain old um, warboard okay and that's basically it okay so we've created you know we've added all of this information now I'm just going to go okay so we've got brick veneer 240 timber okay so that's the part there but now reads width here 250 so what might be a good idea is to um, duplicate this wall keep that one as our master okay and where we're doing this one here where it says brick veneer 240 timber and I might just go in here um, plus 10 millimeter plaster and I'll go OK. So that helps clearly define what is in that particular wall type. Now if you're getting really complicated walls this might not be as effective for a way of labeling things but for the sake of this project it's perfect. Brick veneer, it's 240 timber plus 10 mil plaster 250 millimeters. Okay and now we can go OK. Okay, so what that has done is basically we've just created that wall. And if I come in here just very quickly, okay, um, I'm just going to draw one segment of the wall, then we're going to finish the video and I'm going to upload it. Okay, so we're going to make sure that our wall um, is connected to the ground floor ceiling. Okay, so it goes up to 2750. I want the finish face on exterior okay and I'm going to draw in a clockwise direction so if I start from that point here where this is the front corner of the house so if I left click just drag out a piece of that wall there okay we're in consistent colors that's why we can see the brown brick okay if I take that to hidden line there we go so that's it now we can't see that plasterboard line here Okay, but if I go um, either click TL or if I bring my cursor up here to thin lines and turn my thin lines on, everything goes down to the thinnest line weight possible. We can now see our brick, our 40 mil gap, our 90 millimeter timber frame, and there's that little bit there which is the the plasterboard. Okay, right up. So I'm just going to click TL again. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is, um, I'm going to call it, we'll stop there, I'll upload this video, and then we're going to start, we'll do things like we'll hide this DWG file, and we'll start drawing some walls out, okay? Alright, so we will see you later.